Hi. Hi. I'm not playing hooky today. Today is, what is today? Tuesday. Tuesday. Didn't have any work. But we are on a quest. For? A hardware store. Used to I don't be, know if it's a quest. Yeah, I think it's I've, more I've wanted to, I've, I heard exploring. about this, I heard about this place, I don't know, it was a few months, six months ago. We used to have a hardware store called Orchard Supply Hardware. Used to go there all the time. I used to love it back in the 80s or so. Man, their stores were great. And then, um, was it, did Sears buy them? And then Lowe's bought them from Sears. And they became girly stores, girly hardware stores, sorry. But it wasn't the Orchard Supply Hardware that I remember from the 80s. So Lowe's closed them all down like, it must have been about four years. I think it was 16. I don't know. It's been longer than that. Maybe. Might have been longer than that, yeah. Right in there. Five, five. And six. I've got some paper bags with their logos on it still. I saved ah. some. And I've got one of their little hand, um, what do you call those things? Little baskets that you carry around the store. I bought one at a store that they were closing down. So they've been out of business. And it was Osh, O-S-H, Osh. Well, we have a new Osh. It's called outdoor supply hardware and we're at one in Moraga and we're gonna go check it out uh, they're gonna be opening up stores all over the place and a lot of them are opening up in the old orchard supply hardware stores so we're going into the store yeah yay and check it out they're using the old orchard supply hardware carts so this is the way hardware stores should be bins full of oddball little things that you can buy one at a time not in bags Check this out. Yeah, I'll be there in a second. Look at this. What I saw was interesting was, I've seen hardware stores with chrome stuff, but black chrome and polished stainless. And everything you can get is in bins and you can buy them stuff individually and bag it, which is cool. All the hardware. And we need one of these. Oh, and nails you can bag by the pound. I don't see a scale here anywhere. Rope. Yeah, Home Depot doesn't sell rope anymore. Because it's so dangerous. Really? Mm -hmm. Might make a noose or something. Wow. Even ferals. You can buy cable ferals. I wonder if they have the crimping tools. This is amazing. Oh, check out the springs. God, that spring looks like it is a spring on the hood of my truck. That's awesome. Oh wow, so coming down the tool aisle, they've got Stanley, Channel Lock, Irwin, Crescent, Weiss, a lot of the big brands, Klein Tools, we got Klein, I've never heard of Vulcan, I know, I just read the label, it's a Chinese brand, um, goes through, Grammy had to ask how many different kinds of tape measures do we need. Come through saws, chisels, Stanley, hammers. Pretty good hammer selection here. And looks like their sockets are DeWalt. Their, their uh, wrenches are DeWalt. Ooh, ooh, you should get that, that hammer right there. It's a magnetic. It's for, uh, is that? It's, this is for uh -huh. upholstery. Upholstery? The drill bit aisle and fittings and everything is ridiculous. And all the tips, the DeWalt tips, everything. It's like nuts. This is crazy. Crazy insane. Look at the drill bit case down there. You can buy them individually. You can buy the Irwin tips individually. It's, uh, they're big with DeWalt here. 
drill bits by the numbers, not by the dimensions. Oh, oh these bits are nice. I really like these. These work great on, on uh, cordless drills. I need to get a couple of these for my truck. Those are awesome. Used to be able to get those at uh, Home Depot, but can't get them anymore. This is just downright ridiculous. Oh my gosh, look at all the Sawzall blades. Whole saws. Saw blades. I could go crazy here and spend a lot of money. I think I'm gonna get a few things. We'll get back to you when I find another aisle that's as cool as this one. Okay, toilet seats. Even Home Depot's and Lowe's doesn't even have this many toilet seats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Forty, forty-eight different toilet seats. Wow. Minus two. So Grammy was just telling me that she's never seen a bird section with this many feeders in any other store. Goes all the way down to the end down there. All the different unlimited. seed. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Birds Unlimited didn't even have this much stuff. No. Wow. All kinds. This place is cool. I'm hoping nobody tells me not to stop, to, to stop filming. Okay, let's take a look at the shovels area. Look at all those. Wow. All the different hand shovels and everything. I recommend everybody go in there. It's kind of like Orchard Supply before Sears bought it, before Lowe's. Can't wait until they open more stores closer to us. All right, we'll do a recap in the, uh, in the car. Did I tell you I hate this phone? <laughs> <laughs> the iPhone. <laughs> I'm going to give it the evil so, eye. Yes. <clears throat> so we have to do this over again because I took a picture and I didn't take a video. <laughs> so what do you think of the store? Uh, the store really is amazing. And I'm really glad that we came out here for a little side trip. It was. The store is incredible. The tool selection, the hand tool selection, the nuts and bolts and screws and nails that you can buy by the nails, by the pound, like you should be able to in the old orchard. Mm -hmm. And I would compare this, well, it's not orchard, it's outdoor supply hardware. I would compare it to an orchard supply hardware that was before Lowe's, before Sears, but with the decor kind of as the end with the colors and everything else. It's a little more modern. Very yeah. clean, very clean. And the, clean. the plant area, all the, the garden, center. garden center, plants were all fresh, nothing beautiful. dying, beautiful. Not very big here at the store. Uh, we're in Moraga right now. And it, it, it's, in, you can't compare it to anything out in our area. I mean, maybe a regular nursery but the quality is there the variety is there so that was really nice the bird section feeders oh my god there the yeah <laughs> you saw the video <laughs> that was back there the amount of I bird mean, feeders was the amount incredible of lawn mowers the amount so the variety for each type of tool or supply or whatever it is is multiple and big and large and for the so. hand tools, all the major brands are there, except for Craftsman. There's no Craftsman. I didn't see any Craftsman, which is good because they're made all made in China now. Most most hand tools are, but uh, a lot of the big brands are there, and uh, it's it's amazing. It's amazing that even the drill bit section. I think I took a video of that too, with all the taps and dies, and and I bought I I bought those. Uh, those augers for my uh, cordless drill it's it's amazing price wise i'd say it's comparable to our ace hardware mm -hmm. and our ace hardware by our store is really nice but this is i think this is much nicer it's than the, it, so than much the ace nicer and hardware. the variety you just can't be yeah you just cannot beat it <clears throat> it was great i could have spent a lot more time in there browsing 
um, everything. How much? How much did we spend? We spent a hundred dollars, but we just I could have spent a thousand. Could have spent a thousand dollars. Absolutely, it was great. <laughs> it would have been easy. Okay. Yeah. Highly recommend it. Outdoor supply hardware. I keep wanting to say Orchard. It's Outdoor Supply Hardware. I don't know how many stores they have open. I know they've got one in Clayton. They're going to open one in San Leander. I think it's going to be by where your mom's house was in the old mm -hmm. Orchard store. Hopefully they do one in Livermore. Uh, they're going to be trying to opening them up, open them up in all the old Orchard stores. I think they're doing that because the decor is already set up. Yeah. That's so awesome. um so that would be cool if they did that uh i could oh and the one in redwood city i guess is open or is open also that i used to do i used to go to all the time at work so that'll be great that put gives me another place to go to when i'm when i'm working in in the atherton area so highly recommend it you ought to try it see you later we had to go to taco bell it's just down the street <laughs>